Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and sometimes, you know, you do need to listen to the advice from some of your enemies because, well, let's just say Republican pollsters are telling the president, you know, it's time to zip it up and keep your mouth shut. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Oh, that's a nice look on you. Oh. Eh. Oh. Mm. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they said the Republic, they're, they're sick and tired of the Republicans talking about the president's scandals and that, uh, the, you know, that if they want to win this election, they're going to have to stop talking about the scandals, fix immigration, fix student loans, and give the president more money for infrastructure. And, well, in other words, they need for him to become members of the Democratic Party. Uh-huh. And the president continues trying to end the problems over the Taliban release. Well, they, uh, well yeah. maybe that's why they brought up the student loans. Yeah, that was one of the things they were trying to hide it. And this morning, he's having um, uh, he, he's having a thing on, on Tumblr, which he, didn't, he should not have done because... You, okay, here's another bit of utter brilliance that there's an awful lot of military personnel that have got student loans and they're flooding him with things. What do you mean? The, okay, they're flooding, okay, a lot of, he's doing a thing on student loans. A lot of the people that have student loans are military personnel that are no longer active military personnel wow. and they are flooding him with stuff that he doesn't want to answer. Ah. They said Tumblr is being hit heavy by uh, ex-military personnel and their families that are asking questions other than student loan. But, you know, you know, uh, you know, why did you do this? Well, you shouldn't be talking about student loans, which is never going to get done. And you should be taking care of the security of our nation. Oh. They're, yeah. So they're having. I mean, it was stupid. I mean, they thought that the student loan things would get people off his backs. No, all it did was get everybody on his back because he can't pay for it. His idea of paying for it is this, is to raise taxes. Of course. Yeah, that's not gonna, never going to happen. And White House and Congress rift over Bergdahl deal deepens. Well, because if you're on the extreme left, you worship the ground he's walking on, and if you're not, you realize. I mean, here here's the thing. Yesterday, Democrats walked out on his briefing yesterday. Here was the simple word from his from the State Department. We don't understand what the problem was. These people were being released anyway. Uh, what? And that they, they said, no, they're not. One of the Democrats in the House on the, on the Intelligence Committee, no, we told the president they were not going to be released. And now we find out from the president, he's been releasing people under the, under the, under the table. What? It's like they're trying to say, well, that's not happening yet. Yeah. I love it. One of the guys... He learned, he, while he was there, he learned med, he, he learned meditation and he studied yoga, so that would qualify him for release. And another program said, what? He, he had been talking to rabbis, and the rabbis had convinced him that killing was evil. Yeah. 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 Um, and Swiss banks sign up to reveal hidden accounts. Not really. I was going to say, I thought the reason you had the it in money The reason why Swiss, Swiss Bank banks exist is because, because they're, they're hidden accounts. Yeah. So they're not, that's what the Obama administration, Obama administration is trying to get tax money. From What happens is, uh, okay, you know why it won't work? Apple has money over there. Over uh, where? Google, his supporters all have money in Swiss banks. They're, with the money of that course they, they do. The money that they're not going to spend here because of the tax problem. And his and his business tax on business is just sitting there, and he's not going to get that information because if if, if what happens if a Swiss bank gave him one piece of information on a business, they would put him out of business. Mm-hmm. It would. Okay. And Army's new laser weapon can shoot down mortars and drones. Not really. It sounds good, but lasers have never been. A laser is a light. A light cannot hit, and light cannot destroy something solid. Which I, I mean, it can disrupt the communications on a, on a drone, but a mortar is not going to be knocked out. A flying mortar is not going to be knocked out of the air because it's a, it's just nothing but a piece of. Um, it, basically, it's just like a bullet. You shoot it through the air, and it's going to fall down somewhere. But it has no guidance system, so is that some? You know, e, okay, it's just like. On, on all the sci-fi movies, they get their rig it out and shoot somebody with a light. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't really, it will never work. And hundreds protest France nuclear firm in Niger. 
Uh, yeah, because the French, the French government will sell nuclear reactors and nuclear technology to anybody that has the money. And so Niger is basically a country that basically uh, they're going to give another nuclear thing to another country that wants to be a nuclear power in the modern world. Mm -hmm. And Bulgaria warns UK's Cameron over isolationist immigration plan. Well, it, it, Cameron wants to open the country up to anybody that wants to come. The people, as all the way across Europe, this the people that want this immigrate, that they want the eurozone stopped, and the people that want immigration. Uh, they want immigration, they basically, one-third of all of the seats across Europe were taken by the people that want to put a halt to this un, un, un immigration into their country. They want it stopped. Yeah. And San Francisco Transit Union leaders reach deal. I know, they've been, they've been battling. Now, here's the thing is, that, that, uh, they always have the worst problems trying to get wage increases from places that are ran by Democrats because you can only raise taxes so much in some places. San Francisco has reached the limit, you know, so they're just like every, every state that has a democratic government get, it owes its allegiance to the unions and they can't give them what they promised, none of them. Mm -hmm. And all but one Republican senator facing re-election in 2014 voted against the budget deal. Well, yeah, the one senator that voted for it basically is um, going to lose in his primary. They know that. So. Mm -hmm. And NSA can turn on your iPhone's camera or mic without you knowing. Duh! Yeah, and uh, they can Duh. watch. Okay, here's the thing is, it's a flip of a switch on your television set to make it into a transmitter. That's all it takes. And if you got a modern set that's got a camera in it, for you to, you know, uh, it's really easy then. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Why do you think they have to sit there? GPS you? software. What do they say about making yourself on a hot spot? Yeah, every time you do, every, every time you turn, if you keep your cell phone on, every time it's on, they know exactly where you're at and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. They triangulate everything. And Congress is letting 55 tax breaks expire at the year end. No, the Democrats are. The Republicans basically want to keep them in place. It's, it's nothing important. It's just business expenses. The Democrats think that businesses, you know, are, are, are lying about how much money they make, even though the Internal Revenue Service can tell you exactly how much money they make, and they know they're not lying. In Colorado, pot buyers and high spirits lining up for legalized sales. Yeah. Uh, um, it, it just gets to be worse all the time. Then what's happening is a majority of people that are buying uh, marijuana in Colorado are from other states now and they're taking it back. Mm. And Google Glass is number one fan already thinks the product is doomed this year. Well, yeah, you know, they want too much money. I mean, well, we've talked to the people at Google and they're being completely a-holes about their things. What? It's only $1,500. You can buy one. Press does not go buy things, you know, so... You know, we may in the future have some, but right now it's only $1,500. First of all, they're illegal. The insurance companies will not approve of them to, to drive. I mean, I saw a person at, um, what was it, the NAB walk into a guy and knock his computer to the ground because he, he, he had no depth of field and he came too close to the person sitting on a, a thing and just knocked the computer over. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with the Google Glasses. And as IPO nears, Alibaba preps employees for a $40 billion windfall. There is no $40 billion windfall. Alibaba is owned by the government. The employees are not going to get $40 billion. They don't, they don't give employees stock in, in, a, in a Chinese company. <laughs> but it sounds good, though, on American press. And Bergdahl Conrad's, he is not a hero. Uh, well, to the Obama... Okay, let's put it this way. To the Obama administration and the people on the left of the Democratic Party and to a lot of people, they're getting ready to make his movie in Hollywood now, trumping how he basically, you know, uh, tried to do the right thing and, uh, and, was, and uh, was brutalized by his uh, friends in the military and, and so, and that the Taliban actually saved his life. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. And a Monty Bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a piece of advice. You have to know when to shut up. So. Mm -hmm.